Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video tutorial, I am gonna work on a new sensor that is HP206C. Now, to gain more knowledge about this sensor, you just have to log in to controlleverything.com and here search in for this sensor that is HP206C. Now, what we got is a sensor that is barometer and altimeter with 24 bit analog to digital converter. So, these are some of its features which you can see on my screen. Now you can also purchase this sensor from this website as you can see. Well, I will be interfacing the sensor HP206C with a Raspberry Pi and a Python code and to get the Python code, I will go to resource tab and here comes the Python code sample. Now you can download the Python code from here as a zip file. You can download it clearly as the link is there. Now you can also download the code from github.com. Their repository is control everything community. Now what we do we require is some hardware so that we can make up some connections for the working of this particular sensor that is HP206C. Let's have a look over that. Now this here is our sensor that is HP206C. Now what do we require to make a connection is this a Raspberry Pi which you are able to see on my screen and these are the GPI pins of the Pi. Now, as you proceed further in this video, this here is an I2C shield which is available on the website controleverything.com. Now, why do we need this is to make connections with other I2C devices, sensor and the Raspberry Pi. So gently press over the I2C shield over the GPI pins of the Raspberry Pi. Now, this here is a connecting cable. Make this a binding factor among the sensor and the I2C shield for the connection because we need this and while making this connection make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and similarly for the I2C shield like this. Now we need to power up our Raspberry Pi and for that we need a micro USB cable just like this. And gently put it over the power jack. Light it up. Now the last thing is to make an internet connection. For that we need an ethernet jack and an ethernet cable. Gently put over the Ethernet cable over the Ethernet jack. In case if we don't have Ethernet cable, we can also use a Wi Fi wireless nano adapter, which might save you day also. Now, as we are done with the connections for the hardware, next we require our code for that. We can interface this with our sensor and show the working for that. Why not we have a look for that also? Well, as we are done with the connections for the requirement uh, for the hardware for this video tutorial, why not we have a look over the code, the Python code, so that we can interface our sensor with that. So first of all, log in to github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community. Now click over it and here comes our sensor that is HP206C. Now this is the Python code we will be looking forward to check and before that let's have a look over the instructions for the Python. We have to download and install the SMBus library on the Raspberry Pi. So for that installation, let's have a look over the link which is being provided here and open it up. As you can see, we have the example and the commands and all the procedure that has to be followed for the installation. Please go through it carefully and install before running the code. Now this is the command to run the Python code. Well, note it down and get back to the Python code. Now as you can notice, uh, we have First of all, in the code we have import SMBus and time libraries and we have addressed the sensor that is 0x76. Now we have divided this code into two parts comprising first of all of temperature and pressure then second in the altitude part. Now this is the command OSR and channel setting command 0x44 address and we have written it here as you can see. Now in the second part we have read data back from the register 0x10 and we have read 6 bytes of data as you can notice including temperature and pressure data. Well we have the data monitoring now we want to convert the data for pressure and temperature into 20 bits which is according to the details being provided in the data sheet for HP206C. Well we are done with the first part for temperature and pressure now comes the algebra part. We have sent OSR and channel setting command that is 0x44 and this is the writing part of for here. Now we want to rate data back from the address that is 0x31 register. This is the command to write 3, three bytes of data as you can see for the altitude. Now this is the conversion part of the altitude into 20 bytes. 
Now we are done with the calculations part. We want to display what are the calculations we have done and the results on the screen. So for that we have altitude in meter, pressure in Pascal, temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit scales and all to two places of floating value which is according to the best format and we have the simplest code as you can see. Now let's have a look over the working for this sensor with this code. Now first of all to have the interesting working for this sensor let's have a copy this entire python code and go to the Raspberry Pi terminal here create a new file uh, with dot py extension as you can see paste the entire code save it and now this is the command to run the code as you can notice on my screen and here we go with the results that's altitude pressure and temperature now when I press my finger over the sensor and apply some pressure the change in altitude pressure and temperature is visible now when I again apply some pressure over it this is again a change now we can have the changes again in the altitude pressure and temperature so this is how a python code works with this particular sensor and let's have a look over the features the benefits and the reason why we use this particular sensor means the applications let's have a look. well we have just seen the working of sensor hp206c the hp206c employs a mems pressure sensor with an i2c interface to provide average temperature pressure or altitude data the sensor pressure and temperature outputs are digitized by a highly resolution 24-bit ADC. The altitude value is calculated by a specific patented algorithm according to the pressure and temperature data. Due to this, its wide features, its application are like high precision mobile altimeter, barometer, automotive systems, personal electronics altimetry, medical gas control systems, weather station equipments, indoor navigation and map assist and a lot more. This sensor can be purchased on website controleverything.com and you can have the code from the resource tab and you can download it from there. You can also have the code from github repository that is control everything community. So I just want to make it clear that uh, in case if you are in a kind of thought that you are left without fully understanding any part of this video until yet, you can have your queries on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page of this website. Now for articles and blogs which are relevant to this video, you can contact me on instructivus.com and if you want to pursue more videos and to subscribe more videos like this, you can go to our YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and you have yourself a lot and thanks for watching.